This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV, proudly sponsored by Everlast. Well, obviously, I had a, a long interview with Peter Fury at the start of this week on Monday when I came up to Huey's place. It's the end of the week, it's Sunday night, so I appreciate your time again on IFL TV. But um, it was a must to get you on after last night's events when the heavyweight titles changed hands and they're back in Ukraine. Uh, your thoughts on, on last night's events? I thought it was a brilliant fight. I, uh, I enjoyed it. Um, what can you say? The better man won on the night. Hmm. He was... Uh, <clears throat> I just thought Us Usyk was outstanding, really. You know, them... Um, one minute he was back, the next minute, them, them straight left was coming down the pipe. And, you know, I couldn't even see him coming, you know, watching it on the TV. Never mind what... Uh, what, what Joshua must have thought coming at him, you know, the, the speed of the guy's feet and, you know, disguising them shots coming in was on, on another level. Mm. You know, Usyk, he was always, he was always going to be a serious threat, you know. I've heard a lot of people say, oh, cruiserweight is this and that. And look, when a guy's six foot four, 16 stone, let's not forget as well, you know, AJ Itting with some good shots, you know, you've seen the face, he's marked up, he's caught. You know, he didn't look in any kind of trouble. You know, he 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 wasn't. Um, you know, look, you're looking at a serious guy that's come on the heavyweight scene. who has got all the boxing skills in the world. Can hold his ground. Can take shots off. You know, big strong heavyweights mm -hmm. like AJ. You know, you know, and take them shots, mm -hmm. and you know, come straight back in again. So you know, this is a guy that's arrived on the scene in a big way, and um, I just see that. You know, we haven't even seen the best of Usyk, you know, because he stepped onto that plate. There is always a little bit of doubt, but I think now that doubt's gone. <clears throat> We're looking at a guy who's going to step his up levels up again. I think he's... Um, We're in for some very serious fights. He's just... He's just sent the heavyweight division up by five to seven notches. So I think everybody's going to be on catch-up because this guy, he streaks, he streaks ahead in boxing ability and movement. Mm. You know, he's a serious, serious, uh, serious athlete, you know, well, you know, well done to him. I, I was very impressed. And I think, you know, I think um, with Joshua, I think um, there's not much more he could have done. You know, it's, it's just one of them. You know, you're looking at a very serious, uh, he was pitch perfect, uh, music. You know, I like what they said in the corner as well, where, you know, I've seen someone on the interview after and he, the corner said, you know, you know, you're starting to look for the knockout, calm down, get back to your boxing. And um, so full props to the full team, you know, what, what they done there. It was a it was a masterclass. Mm. And, you know, I'll get him back to, um, let's look at, uh, it's not just a masterclass, but th these are a clever outfit as well. You know, because when you look at it, when he boxed his aura, yeah, you're seeing somebody... Now, when you look at that fight again, and I've not watched it back, but um, I was actually talking to Mick Hennessy uh, over the weekend, and he highlighted it before the actual fight with, um, before the fight last night. And he said, um, my opinion, he, he made a very good point. He says, when you look at uh, what he's done with Chisora, he said he almost took the foot off, his, off the gas. May, made it look like he didn't want to show all what he had. Yeah. You know, so it's, it's like that because when you're fighting guys like this, you always tend to look at the last opponent they boxed. And then you get something in the mind and say, well, this guy struggled with his aura. You know, so there's a lot more to this game, you know. You, listen, brains get you to the top and they've got to do everything they can to get to the top. So his credibility was diluted a bit, which is aura. But I think once uh, Mick touched on that, I agree, because looking at that fight, I think he hit uh, Chisora, I think, in the sixth round on the ropes. And you just see him take a step back. You know, he just stepped back. He didn't, didn't go in for the kill or anything. You know, so <clears throat> I think um, he did what he certainly had to do, just do enough. But definitely, when he come out in this fight, it was a different, it was a game changer completely. It was a different Usyk. Completely, you know, it's almost like day and night is when he fought Chisora. So it's a different kettle of fish altogether. So, in every regard, 
in the strategies coming into this fight, everything else. It was, uh, like I said, it was a perfect performance. I think um, in the rematch, with uh, when they have the rematch, sometimes when something can be so difficult to find the right game plan, look for the solution. Always the simplest of solution is always the answer to complicated issues. So that's where we are. But I enjoyed the fight. I thought it was amazing. A good fight. What is that simple solution in your opinion? Well, you know, it's it's like anything else. I'm not his trainer. I'm not his. Uh, I'm not his. I'm not in his uh, corner. I'm not. I'm nothing to do with it. So, you know, I've got my own fighters to think about, and you know, I'm sick of giving all this free advice out. So I'll just keep it to myself. But <laughs> now, look, I'm sure um, you know some of the simplest of solutions will will work for him. I think he'll. Uh, I think he'll come back, but he he doesn't need to be disappointed because I don't think. I don't see many people uh, living with him on that performance what he done last night. That's one of the best heavyweight performances I've seen, actually. Wow. Okay. <clears throat> wow. It was the complete package. He took the shots, you know, he stood in his distance, you know, so um, it was a, it was a, it was a top-class performance. It was a, every round was exciting to see. Hmm. Earlier on, Peter, you did say you're not sure what more Joshua could have done in that fight. So... How worrying is that going into the rematch for him? I think it's always going to be a hell of a concern because you're fighting this type of opponent. You know, he's he's exceptionally good. You know, people's on about, oh, this guy's an exceptional boxer, you know, but they'll have their opinions where this they can just come in, rough this guy up because they've got cruiserweight in the mind. But it's not the case. I was watching him last night. He was taking, you know, AJ hit him with some good shots there. You know, when he took them. So, he's, you know, what, what we're looking at here. A guy six foot four, 16 stone. You know, super athlete. You know, he's just, you know, there's no spare fat on him or anything. The guy's finely tuned. You know, he's a serious heavyweight. And uh, he's turned into a serious heavyweight. And he's right, he's, he's, he's right up there. So... He's going to give everybody big problems, this guy. Mm. And I think he will raise his levels again. I think Joshua will be better next time, but so will he. So I think it's, it's always going to be. That's never going to be an easy task, whoever. Uh, but everybody's beatable. <clears throat> but it is. It's a, it's a tall order because, you know, he did. He got soundly outboxed uh, last night. Mm. I did. I only give him probably three rounds out of it. You know, although he was putting up a fight in every round, it wasn't a whitewash, but he was losing them. You know, you can see, you know, he just had that, he just had that more more skilled set there. You know, he's pipping him to the punches every time. You know, but it wasn't one way traffic. I thought he'd give a good show of himself. I was impressed uh, with Joshua. He's improved. He's improved quite a bit as well. I know people won't see that because they're looking at Usyk, but I did say before this fight. You know, this is a dangerous fight. It's a dangerous fight for anybody, and it was a uh, it was uncertain territory. And this these things happen, but it, you know, there's no mug uh, Usyk as now everybody can see. You know, the small cruiserweight and all this talk has now disappeared. Peter, we know the likes of Usyk and Lomachenko and that team. They're they're rhythm fighters. Once they start downloading information of the opponent, they get better and better. And we saw that last night. Now he's done 12 rounds with Joshua, going into that rematch. Obviously, as you said, there's a a high chance he's going to be even better. Um, Do you see a potential stoppage win for Usyk next time? You know, look, um, Joshua, although he's been a world champion and he can punch, he's just come up against a proper elite world-class heavyweight. who's Who's got it all. You know, it's just... It's one of them. But look, you want to you want to fight the best. You want to test yourself and see how good you are. You've got to get wet. So there's two things uh, Joshua can do. He can either bite the bullet and refuse to say, this man's got my number. <clears throat> and he can work on a lot of different things. And he does need to work on a lot of different things. Um, but everybody's beatable. I'm sure he'll get in the gym. 
train like a lunatic and, um, you know, come back. But I would say his body weight is correct. AJ doesn't want to go any heavier because if it had been any heavier, he'd have definitely got stopped. And I think that is his weight because he seems to, when he's at that weight, he holds the shots better. And the, the shots he took in the mid rounds early on was a semi left hook, yeah. you know, caught him and it shook him a bit. You know, you've seen what the same punch done with the sparring gloves on with Dave Allen. You know, yes, so, you saw that video, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> so, and that, you know, and these are little gloves on in a real contest. So he t he did take Usyk's uh, best shots as well. So, you know, he needs, um, although he's lost the fight, he needs credit for it because he's come up against, in my opinion, an elite fighter, which that's us looking at it. That's not me being a clever uh, boxing uh, man. You've only got to look at his credentials. When I seen uh, Usyk have his first pro fight, I was looking at it and I said, um, I don't know who was with me watching it. I can't remember. But I said, you see this guy here? I said, he's going all the way, this kid. I said, that, that, that's a fella I can seriously fight. You know, and I've always had the same opinion of him. He has not showed me anything to make me think otherwise. Mm -hmm. He's a serious talent. And um, what a nice thing, though. What a nice thing for Ukraine. What a nice thing for the forum up for them all. This is what boxing's about. You know, can all done. And look, Joshua's done very well. He's made a lot of money. He's, he's created good things. He's achieved good things. You know, they all have. But this is every, this is every week boxing, you know. It, it turns. Hmm. Well, listen, Peter, I really do appreciate your thoughts and joining me on this Sunday night. Just before we close off, um, I think it's only right we mention um, the sad passing of Pro Bs this week. Uh, everyone in the media um, and all the fighters involved in this card obviously saw him on Thursday at the press conference. Um, and he was a real part of the boxing community. I know he's someone that you knew him as well. And um, it was a, a shocking news that we found out he had a heart attack and unfortunately passed away. Uh, so our thoughts go to his family and, and loved ones and close ones. Just to... Your your comment on uh, his, his unfortunate passing. Yeah, what can you say? He was a lovely fellow. He, he was only down weeks ago in the gym. You know, he'd done interviews with, with ev everyone. And um, he texted me not so long ago, about probably a week, 10 days ago. And he said, um, I'd like to come down to the gym, he said, and uh, do a bit of training with with you all. I said, yeah, I said, come down. I said, it'd be good to have you. Look, he's a lovely fellow, but... Um, there's no buts, is it? You know, I feel sorry for his family. He was young. He must have been only in his late 30s, 40, was he, or something? 40s, I believe, yeah. So, you know, it is. It's very, very tragic. But, you know, look, I am a Christian and I wholly believe in life after death and this life is short. You can blink and it's going to end. You get attached to this life. You get attached to money. You get attached for the fame. You get attached for all this bullshit. And uh, death hits them a lot harder than what it does for a people that's got the Belize family and feet on the floor. So I believe there's life after death. He's in a better place. And uh, we're all going to find out anyway, very soon. Yeah, God rest his soul. Peter, appreciate your time on IFL TV and uh, best of luck with Savannah and Huey come uh, October 16th. I'm sure we'll speak soon, okay? Thank you. But look, on this fight, no negativity. AJ done well. He's told he's had a pie and it was a great fight. Filling stadiums, you know, look, he can only do his best to rectify that loss. That's it. Get on with it. Let's get moving forward. But great for heavyweight boxing, especially. You know, at least we've got top fighters fighting. And, you know, this is it. Not afraid of dropping a zero. And, you know, if he can come back from that, which I think he can, he's just going to improve as a fighter anyway. In the long run, this game is not about a hair. It's a tortoise. It's the guy who's going to take the losses on the chin, work away, come back, come back. It's all about longevity. So it's a blip. He can come back, and I believe he will. Top man, Peter. As I said, we'll speak soon, all right? Take care. Thanks. Thanks, Uma. All the best, mate.